Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton starting the qualifying round of the Old Bridge Tournament Rookie Division. Hole number one, going to show you two different ways you can pick up the eagle. Now the first way is the way that I would suggest as it's a qualifying round so we don't need to spend up on a ball, but uh, if you want to go for the for the for the bomb, you know, I'll show it to you next. Six top, two bars a side spin to the right. We're putting our extra mile at max with our red ring right there up by the sand line. Ball guideline going down the center part of the top fairway. Here, we're going to overpower just until the bottom ball goes through the two teeth in the bottom adjustment zone. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, you know, tailwind is easy on this hole. It's going to be later in the tournament when we get crosswind and headwind angles that the yards are going to be very important on the drive. So when I say overpower through the bottom teeth here, I mean these two little triangles at the bottom of the adjustment zone. So you see those two little triangles? Notice how I have my ball just going through them a little bit. Perfect ball, and we get good yards. But again, tailwind, you know, this 375 yards, that's gonna be easy because we're gonna be able to take our thorn at mid distance. We're gonna go the full backspin approach with one bar of side spin to the left. We're gonna be aiming this one here uh, very close to the hole with our ball guide line. So, we need to make sure that we get this ball directly into the hole, as you can see here. And then when it comes to your adjustment, 20% at mid, it's easier to push your rings than pull. So here you see that I push them, and the ball drops into the hole, no problem for the eagle. That one's dead center, okay? Now, if you have a ton of berserkers and you like to have a little bit of fun in the game and you want to go for the bomb, you have a perfect wind angle to do so. Full top, two bars a side spin to the left. Here you see we're just trying to hop over that little rough patch there and roll out as far as we can. We don't need to adjust for wind. We're basically getting perfect tailwind. You can see here I go with a lot of overpower and a little bit of curl to the left. I did not go max overpower. As you can see here, we get plenty of yards, and now we're going to be at wedge distance for shot number two, which is going to play more straight at the pin. You'll be able to go full backspin on this shot. I'm playing at 20% at mid. So with this one, you can go full backspin, and you can go with no side spin. You can see here, as you get your target on the fringe, the ball guideline becomes developed, and it starts going into the hole. Same thing here uh, as far as your ring adjustment. You're going to push instead of pull. Perfect ball, and this one drops into the hole very nicely for the eagle as well. So it's completely up to you on which approach you want to take. Just figured I would show two different ones for your different play style. All right, everybody, that's hole number one. I'll see you soon for hole number two.